briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Despite showing a greater interest in protecting the Susana Gittleman estate's interests than their clients, the bank still evidently tried to assert itself. It filed a third-party complaint seeking to interplead the conflicting claims of both the Gehlers and Gettleman's estate. The bank claimed jurisdiction under Rule 22 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, despite the court's lack of jurisdiction under the interpleader statute since all claimants were treated as aliens. Yet the Gellers and the bank were not without their setbacks. The bank's bid to be regarded as a claimant, based on Gluckman's claim against it for fraud and breach of fiduciary duty in the state court, was dismissed due to lack of supporting case law. Likewise, while the Gehlers argued that the parole evidence rule should exclude oral instructions and a signature card as evidence of different contract terms, the court dismissed their claim. While the court did reach a consensus on the bank's authority to invoke an injunction under the Aid of Jurisdiction Clause, the bank failed to successfully demonstrate irreparable harm. Likewise, the court noted the requirement of complying with traditional rules of process, such as notifying the party against whom the injunction is sought, giving them a chance to respond, and utmost respect for the state court system. In conclusion, both the Geller's motion for summary judgment and the bank's application for an injunction fell through. The court, however, concluded it did hold discretionary power to issue an order against claimants suiting its jurisdiction under Rule 22 including a preliminary injunction to stop a state court case while determining the federal interpleader case, and a permanent injunction to uphold the judgment of the federal court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.